All right, I have to say my favorite BYG moments uh, from the last couple of years, especially the uh, last year, um, was just the singing that we did together. I know it wasn't always the kids' favorite thing to do, uh, but especially last year we had more members of our praise team, so it was a little bit louder and a little bit led uh, differently. And seeing some of the youth up on stage using their talents, playing violin, drums, keys, and singing was, was really amazing. So that was, uh, that was awesome. My favorite BYG experience um, has to be Amazing Race. Uh, it's a time when uh, the senior youth and the junior youth come together, they're paired up, they're paired up with um, adults and other youth from the uh, church, and they get a chance to work together and do something really fun and kind of compete. It's a really great night. That has to be my favorite part of youth. I love the discussions afterwards. Um, I just love when we can really dig deep into God's Word and uh, when the youth have some really challenging questions that um, get all of us really thinking about what it means to know God, but also what it means to uh, make God known, how we can also share that love of God and that hope of the gospel with others. So I love when they ask those tough questions and we get to wrestle with them in the time uh, that we have together. One thing that I'd like the, the youth to experience this year is just this deep, um, um, this deep relationship that you can have with Jesus. And it's something that I didn't experience when I was a youth, and I wish I had. And uh, I don't know, I, I just wish for you guys not to, to waste so many years where you just think that Christianity is a religion that you have to follow, and that's actually a relationship that you get to have. So if we can dive into Scripture and, and uncover some of those truths, uncover the love of Jesus, man, like that would be, be a win. Hey everyone, it is Pastor Hilmer. I just wanted to reach out to the Blessings Youth and to the Blessings Youth parents. Uh, we're excited to start another year of BYG, kicking off this Thursday, uh, September 17th. Uh, you're welcome to come to the church anytime between 7 uh, to 8 p.m. Now things are going to be a little bit different this year. I'm sure you understand that with all the regulations around COVID-19, we've had to make some changes. And I was thinking about that as I reflected on the words of uh, Paul in Philippians 1. In Philippians 1 verse 27, here's what Paul says, Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Then, whether I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in the one spirit, striving together as one for the faith of the gospel. Um, what I love about those words is that Paul reminds us there are times in life where there are things outside of our control. Um, there are times that things come up uh, that you can't necessarily control and so you just you have to work with it and do what you can uh, to encourage each other and to push each other to grow in one spirit as we strive together for the gospel and so it's our prayer uh, to do that for you this year what we've come up with is what we call byg in a box uh, and basically what it is is it's a box full of all sorts of little goodies and different things and a weekly devotional uh, for you and your families to work through and so we've kind of geared this um, in three different ways. For the junior youth, grade five to seven, typically you would come here and you would stay for the kind of the main lesson that I would teach. And then you'd head down with your leaders um, for different games and activities and stuff. But that's just not possible this year. And so for you, this is uh, primarily gonna be your, at least for the next few months, um, where you're gonna be doing BYG from home. Uh, I'm gonna provide every Monday a weekly devotional video for you and your families to watch. And then there'll be an accompanying workbook that you can just check out with your families. There'll be suggested Bible readings and things like that. Um, and we just pray that that's such an encouragement for you as you as you strive to grow in Christ. So that's kind of gonna be geared for the junior youth. Um, for, for the grade eight and nine group, um, we also are gonna have the same video that's gonna go out to you and, and to your families. Um, but on Thursday nights between 7 and 7.30, uh, there's going to be a Zoom meeting for you and your small group leaders. So it'll just be a small group of you uh, just to catch up, uh, at least to be able to kind of meet with your leaders, talk about some of the things that have been going on in your week, maybe discuss some of the questions uh, from the weekly devotional, and just a little bit of time to, to, to hang out and to pray together. For the oldest group, uh, the grades 10 through 12, uh, I just want to remind you that uh, for your group, we're still going to meet in person. It's a small group of us, I think about 10 or 15 or so. And uh, we're, we're just going to be able to meet here at church. We'll socially distance uh, in the main hall downstairs. And I just want to spend time working with you and kind of talking through these devotionals, but also thinking about, you know, what does it look like, especially as you start looking to the next steps of your life? What does it look like 
uh, to follow Jesus. And so that's, that's just a big picture overview of what we're doing. And, um, you know, we really hope that it's a blessing to you and an encouragement. And we invite just any questions that you have, you can reach out um, and just connect with me and, and let me know um, maybe different you know, concerns you have or ways that we can, uh, ways that we can help. So excited for another year and uh, praying that God's going to do great things. Now, before we wrap up uh, for your viewing pleasure, we had a little bit of fun uh, at the expense of the Blessings Youth Group leaders. Uh, we did a short video session with them and uh, asked them a bunch of questions and you'd be surprised uh, what they came up with. Enjoy. They can spit like 30 feet when it's least expected. So that's pretty cool. They call him the goat, greatest of all time. Like a, a movie star? I just, I just naturally yell the whole time and then people like, hey, like, you need to calm down. It's not time to yell. They're loud and they're noisy and they stink. <laughs> It was just a subpar experience, and I would have much rather been doing laser tag or golfing. I would stay away from those ones, because <laughs> being eaten by a wolf, that's, that's, my, that's one of my greatest fears. So, All right, well, we hope you uh, enjoyed that video work. Um, we are excited for these youth group leaders, uh, so blessed by them, um, and just praying this is going to be a great year. I do want to say, especially to the parents, uh, we really need your help this year. Um, we've done uh, as much as we could, you know, just to try and help have a great weekly devotional, something for you to kind of talk about with your kids, to point them to Christ. And just hoping that as you kind of walk, walk through that with them, as you do some of the suggested readings, that it's also just a, an amazing time for you as a family. And so uh, just praying great things again for you uh, and for your families this year. God bless.